Well, right. Uh, it's a big one. A $1.35 billion jackpot. And it's uh, all up for grabs tonight. They've had multiple chances for people uh, to win this thing. And, of course, no one has. So every time there's a there's a drawing and, and no one wins, it goes up and up and up. Uh, but $1.35 billion on the line tonight. Everyone's in on this one. You know, I always say someone has got to win it, right? So you're, the odds are daunting. That's, that's an understatement. But someone will win this thing. Maybe a lot of people. Madison Alworth is in New York City with more on how they're getting ready for the, the big drawing. Madison. Neil, you know, I'm sure we've seen tons of people come through here and buy lottery tickets, every one of them hoping that they're going to be a billionaire after tonight's drawing. The odds are very slim that you win because so many people buy tickets. That's helped to drive up these numbers. Another thing driving up these numbers is actually the Fed. Yeah, interestingly enough, they have an influence on the jackpot number. So here are the two things that are considered when they build that jackpot number. The first is projected sales, how many people are going to be buying these tickets. So the second piece is the 30-year Treasury rate, which was highly influenced by the Fed rate. As you see, the Treasury rate is up over the past year. That's making the lottery up over the past year. A big reason why we look at that 30 years is because many people take the annuity payments once a year for the next 30 years so that they get the full prize amount. But here's the thing. We also spoke to a rep from the Ohio Lottery. They say, yes, that is part of the equation. But the real big part, which determines that Powerball number, that mega millions, is actually how many people are buying tickets. And two things in particular are helping with that right now. First, we're coming off of the holidays. This jackpot has been growing over Christmas. Lots of people like to gift that as a holiday gift and also just play the lottery during the holidays. And the second thing is, if you remember, back in November, we had the largest jackpot ever, over $2 billion. Someone in California won that. So there's a lot of hype after that ticket. People are still very excited now. They're hoping to win the Mega Millions. I myself... Purchased, I need to make sure I'm not showing the numbers. I purchased my ticket. Neil, uh, I know you're always talking about how I'm such a hard worker, but i got to be honest with you. I know you tease this. I will not be here on Monday if this ticket works out for me, and I'm just going to put that out there right now. Wow. So, fingers crossed. Because I talked to my staff. Every member, they'd never lie to me, Madison, and they told me to a man and woman, uh, no, if we win this, Neil, we are here bright and early Monday morning to do the best show for you. So it's kind of... Uh, maybe it makes you feel a little uncomfortable right now, I bet. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, no, I feel very confident. I don't lie either. Yeah, right. I feel good. <laughs> very good. Okay, Madison, uh, worth making her final appearance on this show uh, in New York City. Kidding, of course.